hey Dylan from Die Hard Anne here. Two days ago, it was my birthday. I got a lot of interesting gifts. So I decided to show you what I got from the two days that were my birthday. Except the second day, which I got, I still got presents though. Now, keep in mind, these aren't like in the, the ones I'm gonna show you, you know, aren't like the ones I got from the days, you know. Like, this is the one I got first and stuff. This is just gonna be a random order, but these are gonna be all of the gifts I have. And, you know, I think I have everything to say, so let's get started with the first one. The first one is the one that I just finished, like, a minute ago. It's a Josh Whedon film called Dr. Harple's Sing Along Blog. Josh Whedon is at his game. This is so, so funny. It's so enjoyable. You know, Josh Whedon, you are awesome. It's super hilarious. The songs are memorable. You know, it, the, the script is good. It It's really well done. The acting's good, especially from Nathan Fallon, who just steals the show. And it, it has a good message to it. And only Josh Queen can pull it up. So, Doc, it, I'm going to have another thing later that has to do with this. But, Dr. Harple, if I'm going to give it stars, I'm going to give it 4 out of 5 stars. You should really watch this. Next is the one that I'm happy about. Serenity. Thank you. Like everyone else, I am so angry that Firefly only got 14 episodes. I mean, I love that show. I haven't finished all of them, but so far, I love the show. It's like if we have to, like, watch Firefly, we're going to have to keep re-watching Firefly. And they all get so boring that we wish that there was more seasons. And then we keep on remembering how much Fox stinks because they canceled awesome shows like Dollhouse. But anyway, we're talking about Serenity. I'm so excited about watching this. Love the show. And there's a going to be a 10-year anniversary of it of the show in San Diego Comic Con. I may not go, but it would be super awesome. But for now, this is awesome. I'm excited to watch this. Next up is the one that I got for one reason only. It's because I have an idea for a short film, my very first short film. And it has to do with this show. I decided to buy it to watch it, but also, I'm actually really excited, and it's the X-Files Season 1. It's an interesting premise, you know. I'm really excited. I mean, it just looks so cool. It's like, I mean, it just looks good. It looks like it's going to be so awesome. I have nothing to say. Cool premise. Looks like engaging episodes. Can't wait to watch this. Next is, a, is an old film by Paul Newman. Cool Hand Luke. I'm really excited about it. Nothing to say. I haven't heard that much about it, but it does look really good, you know, from what I've heard and stuff, and by me just thinking about it. I think I could really like this one. It looks like it's going to be a great movie. And, yeah, it's Cool Hand Luke. Next is, is a Gene Hackman film, The French Connection. The same as this one. Barely know anything about it except it won Oscars and clean this picture. Can't wait for this. Um, Gene Hackman looks really good. I mean, it just looks like it could be a really engaging film. And I wish I, I hope I, it's a really good movie. Next is The Walking Dead First Season 3 disc Special Edition. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for Season 3. And I just got this and it's just brilliant from the covers. I mean, just look at this. Look at this artwork by Robert Kirkman. A excellent. And there's the pilot episode that's a black and white version, which if I see him, it could have been really cool or something. And, and and just just look at this. Just 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 look at this cover. First we have the Robert Kirkman art and then the live action scene. This is just DVD brilliance. I'm so excited about we watching these. It's an excellent show. You can watch my season two reviews, like the season premiere, the 18 miles out in the season finale, 
episodes on my channel somewhere. But I'm excited to rewatch this and next one. Next is something I'm not really excited for, but I'm hoping for the best of it. And it's not what you're expecting. You're expecting the Disney one. And but this is different. It's John Carr from NARS. Not the Disney one with Tyler Kitsch. Taylor Kitsch, but no, this is a lot different. I think this one came out before John Carter, the J Disney one. And look at the company that did this. The Asylum, who made rip-off films like Transmorphers. And as long as we have these guys, we're in good hands. I'm hoping for the best of this. I don't know how I feel. I mean, the Disney one, it's it's not bad or anything. It's I just accept it as a fun matinee sci-fi film. But with this, I don't know. I just ha I just don't know. I don't know about this. Look at this. Heart-pounding creature action of Starship Troopers in the epic adventure of the Lord of the Rings. Wow. Next is a 50s movie packet. The, the sci-fi invasion series. The only one I heard from like... A review of you know it's a, it was a sin Massacre review and that's Robo Vampire somewhere here, yeah right right there that's the only one I've heard from these but I'm expecting fun maddening cheesy sci-fi films they're so bad but I'm expecting the best of it and you you know the things inside you know the things I actually took them out I don't even like those things I don't like those types of discs I mean I just put them in like. You see, a box inside a box, you see. And then we open this thing up. And, you know, I actually put these in there. Don't ask why. And there, you know. And just look at this. It looks more beautiful. It just looks beautiful. It's better. In my opinion, it's better. I mean, I'm putting them in a the box inside the box. Get it? Well... Maybe not. You may think I'm crazy, but overall, it looks really good. Excited to watch this. Next are a couple of books, and I'm not really that much of a book guy, but these are, I'm really excited to read. The first one, Josh Ween, The Complete Companion. Not much to say. I mean, look, he looks like Barack Obama. And, if that was tr and that's true for movies. No wonder Steven Spielberg got this. He's the master of nerdism. Nerd, nerdism. I think I got that right. I can't wait to read this. Not much else to say, but just buy this just for a cover. I'm, I mean, so far, I've been treating this thing like it's my Bible. Weird, but yeah, I'm, that's, that's really true. Next is a Batman graphic no novel, Arkham Asylum. Yes. The one that was based on the the video game is a comic book. So far, the artwork looks excellent. Just just look at this. Just looks so so detailed. I can't wait to read this thing. This is, I think there's script in here. I can't wait to read this. Gauging premise, and that's it. And the last one is Doctor Harple's. So in a long vlog, the book, I got this one before the DVD, and it has a script, it's behind the music, the idea of it, I mean, so far it's really cool, it's, it has all the lyrics to the songs, and I can't wait to read this, and yeah. So those were all of the presents I have, what did you guys think of them, did you like them, did you not, T comment below on on if you had a birthday, what present did you get? Get. Did you comment below in the Die Hard comment box? Like, you're just like me. You want to see my videos from me? Click my bum there that top on the video on my channel to get alienized until you die hard. And have a nice day and a happy birthday to some of you whose birthdays are today. 